participating in the Olympic Games sounds nearly impossible. But these Seminoles prove that with hard work and dedication, dreams can become reality. At that point, you know, I wanted to represent as best as I could, but I wasn't as concerned on how well the race went or, you know, like how I finished. I just wanted to you know, have fun with it and enjoy it while I, while I had the opportunity to. I think fulfilling, like you, you put in so much of your time and so much of your life on hold and you put everything into it. Not only did FSU athletes well represent the Seminole community, FSU coaches took their talent to train athletes at the highest level. So my job as a coach is just to settle them down and like, you know, just be here and be present and trust your stuff right now. I've come across a lot of athletes that didn't do it because they loved it. And they, they maybe have that question in their head, like, why am I doing this? Well, I try to help them find that answer. And I hope that answer is, let's figure out why you love it. Uh, and, and once they get to that place, they'll tell me to get out of their way because they're having fun and they just want to keep doing it. I think that I just want to help the players grow as people through sport. Although the COVID-19 pandemic created new protocols for the Olympic Games, these Olympians did not let that minimize their experience. There was still a good bit of energy in the stadium, like with just other teammates, like from other countries and stuff. It still was a lot of people cheering and, you know, just supporting everybody. And it was amazing to watch like world records fall and like upsets and stuff like that because the whole stadium just kind of goes crazy. Once we got on the field, obviously not having fans was a little bit of a difference from Beijing. But when you get into those games and you're playing for so much and you're playing for that medal or you're playing for a chance to get to a gold medal game, the game's the same and the intensity on the field was the same and uh, the frustration was the same. From Tallahassee to Tokyo, these Olympians took their talents to new heights. Whether here at FSU or on the biggest stage, the seminal spirit is always on display. You know, the most rewarding part of the Olympic experience for me is watching somebody achieve their dream of doing that. And to see just the growth of our, of our team and some of, some of our players and how well they performed on that stage, um, we've, we've talked about it for so long, but, but for them to actually be able to do that and exceed in that, at that level was, was pretty awesome and pretty memorable for me. I think the most rewarding part was definitely st stepping up on the blocks and like jumping in for my first race. I've learned so much in, in my playing days and I'm still learning as a coach also and I think sport brings out so much about who you are and then you get to learn about who other people are in other cultures. With 83 FSU athletes representing the seminal drive in Olympic history, we continue to see dreams become reality. I think all of these kids when they first get started, they, they, they see the athletes that go to the Olympics and they, you know, they think that this is this far off, semi-impossible thing and, and some of them dare to dream it and even fewer get to do it. So don't quit and don't give up and it's not over till it's over. I'm Nairi Skandarian reporting.